The Pan Pacific Orchard is one of the newest hotels opened last year in Singapore, and although the group seemed to be less famous outside its hometown Singapore, it is originally established in Japan and has a lot of five-star properties around the world. This latest property is situated at Claymore Road, a five-minute walking distance to one of the most iconic shopping districts in Singapore, Orchard Road. The moment that I stepped into the lobby, I can instantly sense a tropical forest vibe, well partly because of the heat, but mostly by the decorations of the lobby, which actually resemble the cues of its group's other newly refurbished properties like the Park Royal Collection Marina Bay that I stayed last year. Also, you can see that the architecture has adopted an environmentally friendly design that will minimize the effects of wall effects among buildings, as it has provided good airflow by leaving several floors aloft its various sky gardens underneath. The room that I stayed is a cloud terrace suite, and as the name suggests, it is a large terrace that can fit a big sofa, and in case of rain, you don't have to worry about the terrace being inundated, it's just a click of a button, and the blinds will be lowered to protect the terrace. And the design of the room reminds me of the suite that I stayed in intercontinental Singapore five years ago, as all the rooms like the living area, bedroom, and a bathroom are located at four corners, which I thought is kind of a maze, and is not quite intuitive. But I have to say, I'm really impressed by the sheer size of the bathroom and the abundance of sunlight into the room. Equally impressive is the teak brand they use for bathroom amenities, which is soothing and fragrant. Overall, I found the room to be very cozy, but there's one fatal thing that I would mention at the end of this clip, which makes it a deal breaker, so keep watching. Another perk that sweet stairs of Pan Pacific Hotels can always enjoy are their complimentary services, which ranges from free laundry of two items per day and 4 p.m. late checkout. Also, you can have access to this lunch. While food is not as generously provided like the Park Royal Collection Hotels that I mentioned earlier, it is really a decent place to stay as snacks and beverages would be provided free of charge. And you can also have access to the comforting views of the Sky Gardens just outside the lounge. It is also a good place to hold events such as wedding cocktails or tea break of international conferences. So from time to time, you can see many people gathering around the area, so be prepared to lower the curtains of the room if you want some privacy. For breakfast, it is mainly served at its only proper restaurant, Marcella, and it's a buffet-style one. It is decent, but one thing that I don't like was the self-service coffee machines counter, which sometimes would be cute with people trying to figure out how to use it, and hence I prefer the staff to serve us coffee instead. As for dinner, I have to say I'm pleasantly surprised by the overall food quality. This spread tuna with avocado appetizer is refreshing and delicious, and this lamb rack is not only tender and juicy, but also filled with the fragrant smell of lamb and grill. The grilled octopus is also beautifully grilled, and is al dente but not rough. I in particular like its side dishes, which complemented the taste of the grilled octopus very well. The Boss Cheesecake is another pleasant surprise, as it was slightly burnt and just managed to create a sense of taste necessary for a typical Boss Cheesecake and balance the sweet and dairy taste of the cheese very well. Alright, after some good food, it's time for me to introduce the fitness club facilities. For the swimming pool, I would say for serious swimmers, this might not be a pool for you, as the lap pool is short and the main one is very shallow. It's also not a very good place to take some Instagram pictures because there is absolutely no view, unless you're going to take pictures in the mirror reflection at the ceiling like I did. As for the gym, while it is well equipped, I guess the Smith machine could be moved slightly away from the window, as I found it a bit dangerous to load the weight on the bar of the machine. So, time for some honest verdict, because it looks like everything's fine up to now, right? Well, there were actually two incidents that prevented me from recommending this hotel. First one is actually manageable, which is the glitches that I encountered while staying in this room like the malfunctioning of the do not disturb button, curtain control knobs, etc. Not to mention the false fire alarm, which I think is just bad luck. But these stains, which are adamantly stuck on the tiles of my bathroom, is something that I cannot bear. I just can't help but imagining where these stains came from. Is that red wine stains? Or was it caused by previous bursts of sewage pipes or even... Well, I hope you're not eating while watching this clip. Honestly, I didn't ask for a change of room because they already said no rooms were available when the first incident happened, and they have offered me to charge just half the daily room rate on my first night of stay. So what do you expect? I guess they won't waive the cost of my entire stay, right? But still, this is a deal breaker for me. I bet you wouldn't stay there when you know the daily room rate is actually four thousand Hong Kong dollars, right?